the time comes, <laughs> you'll be playing Grand Theft Auto and not looking back. You ever hear of the Grand Theft Auto series? Oh yeah, I think I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, so it's a little happened? indie game that they're yeah. uh, trying to get yeah, off yeah, the ground. Yeah, I think they're onto something. But yeah. time will tell. Yeah, I think I might have saw that pop up on TikTok or something. Yeah, you know? I think it only is famous <laughs> through TikTok. Did you all see the GTA 6 trailer? I'll tell you what, I've been talking about it non-stop <laughs> all To everybody week. in your life, no to matter if they've it, seen it or not. You don't even have to be a GTA fan. You don't even have to be a gamer. It's a pop culture. Thing. And you know that the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer dropped and it blew the world apart. What was the most surprising thing in the trailer to you? It's gotta be or, the sheer number of NPCs and stuff. Dude, I'm with you on that. Like People the crowds? have been talking about that a lot. Yeah. Not just the number, but the uh, what variety. Is that yeah, the, the, variety. the different body types and you stuff. You didn't see a yeah. single no. repeat. But yeah, know? it's gotta be like that beach scene that everyone's seen a million and times. And you know Rockstar's doing this shit on oh, They're yeah. like, look at our engine. Look at what we can do. Look at our patents. You can't do this. Ooh, <laughs> I want that screenshot right oh, there. Yeah. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Oh, oh, who shot him? Who, Charles? We were almost home free. <laughs> That guy did a little jig for you. Yeah, he did. He went, whoop! <laughs> He's like, <"Arr!" laughs> That's a tree. Study, study, study. <laughs> That's a skunk. Whoa. Oh, whoa! Whoa! The Flat Cap Brothers fucking showed up. They really were. If there was two characters that you and I would play in... Red Dead Redemption. It's these two guys that just got killed. Right, that's here. how we would go. Like, hey, they're over here. <laughs> bling, bling, blam. Oh. All right. So, anyways, with Rockstar's most recent games, as far back as GTA 4, I think the missions, in my opinion, are just a little. I understand why, but they're just a little too linear, in my opinion. Okay. Okay. Right. So, where I understand why is like they want to tell a story. A cinematic adventure they want you to do certain things mm -hmm. to make certain things happen but if you remember going back to like vice city and gta 3 and these games uh from previous generations there was a lot more freedom on how you could complete missions and how you could complete tasks basically what you're saying is you don't like the whole blah 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 was abandoned yeah like when failing you're doing... a mission just because <clears throat> you misstepped a little bit i mean to Again, playing devil's advocate, the old games that you quoted with the more freedom, you were very rarely in a mission with companions. Mm-hmm. You know? Right. I mean, I but, mean, but like you said, your argument was because there's a story to tell. Right. I mean, I understand player choice and freedom to complete a mission if Arthur was on his own right here, but would be kind of weird if... You're being pursued, you and your buddies, and Arthur's like, "Well, I'm gonna go." So yeah, that out in, of your range in a mission like this, I understand it. Yeah, I understand that. There's a mission where you have to sneak into <clears throat> the oil rig. You have to sneak in there and steal something. It's like a stealth mission, and you're by yourself. All right, but you can fail it for doing oh. anything other than what they want you to do. You gotta go up here, you gotta go through this window, you gotta walk through this. Exactly, they want you to do it exactly how see, they want I, okay, you to do it. See, okay, I can agree with that, so, so I could agree So with I'd that. like to see a little more missions where you have more freedom to do it how you wanna do it. Was that a fox or a woman? Let me what? go. Where? Oh! What's this guy doing? He ain't doing nothing now. And I think it was honestly a... I'll, I'll wait till after we're done with this. Thanks, mister. So I think it was honestly a, uh, a Nakey Jakey video. I remember you showing me that. Yeah. It might have been after Red Dead came out. It did, because like the video was about ago. Red Dead. It was like... I think the title Rock of it stars. was Mission Design is Outdated. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have this open world where you can do anything you want, like what we're doing now. But when you're in a mission, they want you to do exactly what they want so you what, to do. So what is the fix? When canonically, story-wise... I don't want missions with timers, obviously. I think it's, I think it's kind but, of like what Unity did almost with Assassin's Creed, where you have a mission, but it's like almost a little sandbox-ish kind of thing. Like a mini... Like, you approach it, maybe there's 
only three or four different ways you could. But you could pick either of those. Yeah, but you could decide. It's not just like if you don't go to this certain mission mark, you will fail the mission. I'm inclined to agree with a little more. Just player choice. Tell me the good story that you want to tell, but yeah, give me a little bit of freedom on yeah, how to get it. And it doesn't there. need to be every mission. All right, well, that was a fun little mission. I remember that was the first time in this game where I was like, like the night mission where the oh, fog, yeah. I was like, holy crap. Visually, this it was... is unlike anything I've ever seen. So we were talking like how GTA 5 gave us the character swap. Um, mm -hmm. We were talking like, what's the new game loop going to be? I just ran over a. I mean, I mean, GTA V had, I mean, that was a great new mechanic that worked really well. And I and think they're still going to stick with that. I think it'll be more seamless. There's just, like, you just, oh yeah, snap, real quick. But still. But, but just a lot of the little things in GTA V, the, the car customization, the, mm -hmm. some of the side activities, the random events that kind of they toyed around with in the original Red yeah. Dead they expanded on so obviously i think all that's going to remain i think obviously first and foremost you're going to get everything but it's more great. and better you can tell me right. that we already have but what's going to be the, the new hook. thing the hook. they gotta innovate there's somehow. gotta be something new, new right i mean you got the obvious thing the first female protagonist in mm -hmm. in gta mm -hmm. awesome she seems dope. Mm -hmm. It seems like, because Grand Theft Auto, aside from GTA 4, has always been more of the Hollywood action movie. Zany, I would, wacky. I would actually say Grand Theft Auto as a whole is a dark comedy. Yeah. Like, it's some disturbing it's stuff happens. It's wacky. But you can still kind of laugh at it in a dark way. Red Dead's definitely been more of a drama. Oh, yeah. And GTA 4. Uh, yeah, yeah, GTA 4. But there were still those moments, though, that yeah. you could constitute as a rated R dark comedy mm -hmm. i feel like we're gonna get a fine balance just based off that trailer and i'm thinking in grand theft auto with this whole what this, you doing this jose love dynamic oh he's making some medicine <laughs> oh, okay he was waiting to start his <laughs> animation <laughs> he was waiting watch this arthur Whoop. i'm excited for the relationship yeah. dynamic that yeah. hasn't been in any game, Rockstar game before. Be curious. The see, Clyde see if they're going to expand on this. That's a huge oh, fucking plant that you just grabbed. A bouquet? What's Hosea want? Ginseng. Do I have it? We should. Give request. There you go. <laughs> so I pulled this out of my ass. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot. There's so many different ways they could go with that story the speculations are almost exhausting like i want so, one more trailer you know take me through what you brought up you were talking with your cousin at work and what he was bringing up could be the the story hook oh oh yeah we're like we're like what if this was the first time that maybe jason maybe may, i don't know i don't know what what did he under not undercover maybe undercover cop Parole something, officer. Or her parole officer or something like that. And, you know, enticed by her, you know, in a toxic way. I don't know and, if they'll go that way. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. The more I thought about it, I was like, that's almost too much. But mm -hmm. it, it was it was uh, it's almost too on the nose. And, like, how would that reveal be for the player, you know? Right. You know what I mean? Like, oh, we don't know that us, the player character, is a cop. He's so a cop. It kind of takes so uh, takes away that surprise, but still, that would be an interesting twist. Wait, we're going to Shady Bell already with Lenny. All now, right. see this one. This mission gives you what two options? Right I think on how to kick it Let's off. Either you start shooting, or you can send Lenny in as a distraction. Mm. They do give you some options. I would just like more. I'd like them to double. So we got two, give us four. It has to be from a from a developer standpoint, an engine stand and I'm not a game developer. I don't know how any of this shit works. Yeah, we're just armchair. How you fucking code it right. and make so I don't know how a developer like Rockstar that wants to craft these cinematic amazing cinematic experiences. But then you got games from Larian, like for example, we we're talking earlier, Baldur's Gate 3, mm. where it's 100% player choice. Right. You're comparing apples and oranges at that. They're both great and delicious, but 
an RPG with complete open world player choice. Rockstar yeah. uses games to tell a story. Yeah. They're just using a video game to tell this story that they want to tell, and they want you to experience. They're telling a story that they feel like needs told. Yeah, they, they could have been a uh, movie like, studio. Exactly. I was about to say, it's like people who make movies. But like there's that. a difference between that and something like Starfield, for example, where there's a story that they want told, but they also... It's you a video can, game. You can put that on the back burner for almost as long as, as, long as you want. <clears throat> this is like me. I, mean, I don't want to. That's right. the thing. It's it's not that you Whoa. can or can't. <laughs> this dude just dropped a hard R on himself. <laughs> if anyone can say it, it's Lenny. Should probably grab a sniper rifle. That's why they gave it to me. Player choice. <laughs> Use we your do. weapon scope. Yup. Well, can't use we got binoculars. binoculars. Oh, All right. we can't. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let me tuck that in here, tuck that out of here. Let me use my binoculars if I don't feel mm. like using a mm. sniper. They say dynamite. I'm going to shoot him right now. You could. Would you fail the mission? Let's see what kind of player choice we got. Wait, what? <laughs> well, there's your player choice. I mean, I did shoot the barrels. I'm just dropping to you over here. That's fine. Just dropping pee. Oh, that guy had a fucking. Oh, that's dope. That was dope. I'm of course being nitpicky, talking about the the player choice and all that. Eh, I mean, it's an understandable argument. I mean, you take one step out of bounds, you know. It fails a mission. What's more immersion breaking? You know. Yeah. You went a little too far out of the way. Or... I'm loading this guy with ammo. <laughs> this guy. Oh. oh no. What a way to go. Shot like a dog in the street. I never understood that saying. Who the fuck Grab is some dogs in the street, man? Get in the tub. In the wagon. <laughs> Gary. Gary. You get in the tub. Yeah, we'll see what uh, satchels we can craft with. Uh, with what we got. With um, yeah, to, with Mr. Pearson there. And we can uh, maybe go, go hunting. hunting after those animals. Things have calmed down. I think they feel that he can go yeah. back to being a little more. Yeah. We don't, we're not hiding as hard anymore. We got the <laughs> sheriff of star. Who's going to fuck with us? Gia. 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 Feel like some guys stop you, don't they? I think so. We already dropped a bunch of your people to get this wagon. You gonna make us drop the three of you as well? Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I am He's like... Damn. <laughs> they they are flopping everywhere. That guy's riding home. <laughs> He's still perfectly on it. I've never seen that. He's just like, he's like, oh, my head. What a mess that was. We're like, all playing hard a little bit here. So, you know, we're going to we're gonna sleep till morning. We're going to drink some coffee. We're going to find out what satchels we need to craft. We're going to have some of the daily stew. <laughs> some daily stew. <laughs> oh, he's, he's getting the stew ready. There's Mary and her skivvies. Whoa. Damn, Mary. <laughs> Damn. Now that is flattering. <laughs> All right, before we head out hunting, let's go fishing. Oh, uh, man, this is relaxing. Hey, I started our first survivalist challenge. Hell yeah, brother. What in the world? <laughs> what in the world? Feller's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? <laughs> Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. <laughs> The water's wonderful. Is that why you like this spot <laughs> so much? It's just the stuff that makes this game, this game. It's the only one like it. The little things. It's moments like this that, that prove, prove why Red Dead 2 lost to God of War. <laughs> <laughs> moments like these. Man, was that fucked up. It's a good time to talk more GTA I think 6. it'll be an easier thing for them to add more player choice in. Because unlike GTA 3, I feel like you're going to be a little more out and about, if that makes sense. You're robbing liquor stores, pawn shops, mm -hmm. smaller places. And I think the whole camp dynamic that we got here, you're going to be moving from like no tell motel to, you know, like... <laughs> the old cyberpunk no tell motel. Yeah, they're going to be in like a... 
Yeah, there's You're less be in some seedier places. There's less people you got to worry about. With Red Dead Two, you have this whole huge camp. Mm-hmm. You have this whole huge family. There you go. There it is, Bluegill. Who? Hell yeah. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> shit, holy shit. What just happened? I don't know. I think they're trying to blow me up. Oh. Anyway, what I was about to say was mm. pure gameplay. It doesn't have to be necessarily groundbreaking or super fun. It has nothing to do with the story or the new loop they're going to add. But gameplay, is there anything you want to see in Grand Theft Auto 6? To put it in perspective, mm -hmm. I guess what I would say is... Uh, for the first time, Grand Theft Auto, like a revamped inventory system. Yeah. I don't want infinite weapons in my pants. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love how they, it's a good balance. In my pants. In Red Dead, you can carry way more than realistically is possible on Arthur and in your horse, but. Kind of like what Mafia 3 did, where you have a, tr a trunk in your oh, car yeah, yeah, yeah. where you can store your weapons. Yeah. Kind of like your horse where you store weapons. Yeah. It does feel like they're going to be going from hotel to hotel kind of thing. I feel like each yeah, one's yeah. going to be like a like a camp almost. Yeah. As a be here for a few yeah. story missions. Let's say Jason and Lucia do become successful uh, career criminals and thieves and. and that maybe you'll eventually... People are wondering if... Because it, it was gone in GTA <coughs> 5 and GTA 4. People want to go back Businesses. to San Andreas. Businesses I was going to say. want to be able to buy safe houses. Yeah. CJ could... You could literally buy a farm in Well, that's Andreas, that was a big part of I mean? GTA Vice City, too. You could buy businesses. You could buy fronts, So I feel like yeah. they're going to bring that back. Yeah, I want to... I mean, you could do it in GTA 5, too. Yeah. You could buy businesses. But we're talking like safe houses or mm -hmm. and then again maybe even expand on that do a little light rpg elements mm -hmm. where in some apartments in gta online you could lightly customize right expand on that whoa cinematic as fuck <laughs> guys i don't want to fight i'm sorry oh they want to fight i'm sorry <laughs> guys i'm sorry we're gonna die <laughs> that guy it uh I almost killed the second guy. No. We're losing honor. We're dying. We're losing a lot of honor. Anyway, <laughs> some light apartment or house customization later on when maybe they can settle down in the big city. It's crazy to think that where, high life. Yeah, where know? they might take it. Like, are these gonna are these guys gonna turn into like? Scarface level empire. Yeah, like, like where is it gonna Michael get there? Ended up is it gonna get there? And Do you think it would get there? They feel real like from the the trailers shown and so they feel real down on their luck. You oh got a gosh. you got a little event up there. What is happening? They feel real down on their luck. They feel real like we're just surviving. You a shooting man? I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. Well, I guess what? Why don't we find out? This guy is done for. <laughs> He's gonna get you. <laughs> Can you imagine? Four birds fall out of the sky simultaneously. <laughs> well, back to the beaver hunt. Wait, what just happened? I don't know. I think I got shot. Like, the bullet went through the one guy and it right into Arthur's face? I have no idea. So, a big thing that Rockstar never did, and of course it makes sense in this context, this whole eating is not required, but it, it helps your stats. You think they're going to retain this stat monitoring system? I think you so. You got to drink and eat. I think so. Do some drive throughs you know, get some food, get some fucking Wendy's. <laughs> I think so. Some, some burger shot and clucking bell. You're talking GTA 6? Yeah. I think, I think they're going to expound. They're going to bring back the pizza stack. Expound on everything. Get shot in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Dropped them like a sack of taters. <laughs> some taters. Anyways, as you were saying, you some okay. ASMR for you. Man, Arthur's not a good man right here. This is this is beyond. Leopold evil. Strauss is making us do dirty work. How do you just shoot into the air? Uh, left trigger up on D pad. You best be <laughs> Player <laughs> choice. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. You best be leaving. You caused the scene. Again, that's one of those player choice versus immersion. All right. 
Beaver hunt, rabbit hunt. We're out here looking for a fat beaver. Now, how much wood <laughs> would it take to satisfy these beavers all Just weekend satisfied. long? <laughs> Raspberry beret. And if it was warm, she wouldn't wear much more. Look at that bastard. He didn't give a shit. <laughs> Please. Please kill me. Wow, look at that flapper tail on that motherfucker. No, that's its tongue. <laughs> <laughs> that's its tongue. So GTA 6. <laughs> so about that GTA 6 game <clears throat> coming out in 2025. I'm not surprised. That was a little gut punchy, but I didn't expect anything less. It, it was like you heard it in the leaks and the rumors, and I'm like, it makes sense. But like deep down, you were hoping. Yep. And then when you saw it, it was like, mm. we got another year, year and a half. You know, maybe I like putting it in months. So they do April or October. That's what they usually do. April or October. I think a springtime, summertime release would, would make be sense. Dope. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just the vibe. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, and I don't blame them. They got to do what they got to do. They're not going for a vibe. They're going for more profit than you can even imagine. Profit and a and, finished game. <laughs> and let's say it releases October. That's holiday time. Mm -hmm. You get all those holiday sales. We all just have to stay strong, stay healthy. <laughs> stay alive. Stay alive. <laughs> stay out of jail. Yeah. Everybody just... We're all going to get there. We're all going to be there together. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. We worked for this. We did. It <laughs> took about an hour to get her. Maybe, Maybe more. more. Not only am I going to drink some of this Twisted, but, but I'm, I'm going to drink, drink some, some of this Twisted, too. And I'm going to drink some of this Twisted. And when you're done and drinking that Twisted, twisted. <laughs> you should drink that Twisted. I think I should drink these Twisteds. Mm. Mm. Which one do you like mm. better? No, hold this, on, let me try some of your Twisted. This one. <laughs> There's some of that Twisted right there. <laughs> I don't care what you've done in your past, but you've wound up here. For you to stop by and mm. check out this Red Dead playthrough, mm. I appreciate that. 